Wait. Three. What? Why? Seem. That was the biggest piece of shit movie I've ever seen in my damn life. Oh my god. Fox. What are you doing to these pieces of greatness? I swear to god. X-Men is the only movie you guys can fall back on. But with this new Fantastic Four movie, you guys wipe your ass with it. Stan Lee's like, oh, here's the comic book I made. You know, last two movies, they did pretty good. Fox executives was like, I'm gonna make up my own stuff. Oh my god, that movie was so goddamn terrible. Number one, there was no character development at all. It was like all four of the main lead roles did not know each other at all. Number two, They've completely changed everything. In the original movies and in the original comic books, they all got their powers, you know, maybe late 20s, maybe mid 20s to early 30s. They get these powers when they're 16, 17 years old. And then they want to fast forward a year later. And I'm going to let you guys know, right this movie is, this video is going to contain some damn spoilers. But I'm going to listen to these spoilers. You wouldn't have wasted 18, 20 dollars seeing this damn movie. First of all, pissed me off the most, it took an hour, an hour for it to go to point A to point B. I just want to say, okay. one of the main crucial reasons why I hated this movie is that why did this movie take about not even an hour, it took about 64, 68 minutes to explain how the fuck they got their powers. This movie's like 90, about 90 minutes long. It took them an hour to, from them discovering a alternate universe, which is how they got their powers, which is completely throwing the original idea away. It took them an hour to come up with the concept of their powers and how they discovered it. Oh my god, that sucked. I'm just sitting here the whole time like, oh, oh, okay, with, okay, you're on fire. Okay, it took them an hour for them to real for them to build up to where they got their powers, to where they trained how to use their powers, to where they could fully control their powers. That took those three things took an hour of the, out of a 90 minute movie to tell. What the fuck? And thing. They've completely redesigned things. Now, I like the fact that they did try to go, you know, somewhere different. Different can sometimes be good. They want to make, you know, things all made of rocks. And, and you know, that's how he was transformed. But his, his rocks look too damn serious. The thing's body looks like a, like a dog. The dog could shit out thing. And they just grab dog shit and just put it all over somebody and then CG'd it. The thing looks like Hulk had sex with a volcano, and it gave birth to the, to this thing. That is not the thing. The thing's supposed to be warm-hearted, kind, and gentle, but also mad as hell. You know the movie, as previously previously stated, it's 90 minutes long. You know it took almost the last 10 minutes of the movie for him to say it's clobbering time. Those of you that have seen the other two fantastic movies, he was saying that shit left or right. And it, and it just sounded like it was forced. Because as I was watching this, I told my wife saying, if he doesn't say it's clobbering time, I'm going to be mad as hell because that's one of his best catchphrases, is that it's clobbering time. I'm still watching a movie thinking, okay, is it almost over? Here comes Stink running across the street. It's clobbering time! I'm just like, uh, oh, th there it goes. Like, like, it felt like it was, it feels like Fox just threw it in there saying, okay, yeah, he has to say it. Just throw it in there somewhere. And, of course, Doctor, Doctor Doom dies. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. He gets fucking disintegrated. They, they rushed this fucking movie, guys. It's horrible. And, of course, besides the thing, you know, the character, the character developed was just completely terrible. I felt like I wasn't getting it. Like, I didn't know who the hell Susan Storm was. And to be honest, 
from how Johnny Storm, his dad, and Susan were all interacting, I felt like Susan was, I felt like they all, like, Johnny and Susan were both adopted. They had no brother and sister connection at all. Rather, in Rise of the Silver Surfer and in the original movie, they were like, oh, hey, Susan, that bitch. Shut up, Johnny. It, it, that was brother, there was no brother and sister interaction between the two. Sorry, I'm spitting on my camera. Just, just no chemistry between the two at all. I was wondering if they were actually going to have sex in the movie, to be honest with you. But that's besides the point. And of course, Johnny, I felt like it wasn't the same Johnny Storm I read in the comics or saw in the original movie. The original Johnny Storm was, you know, a cocky, arrogant douche. You know, he was a dickhead. You know, always trying to make a joke out of, you know, bad situations, stuff like that. This Johnny, he was not, he was none of that. He was a spoiled rich kid that the only reason why he got dragged into that situation and became the Human Torch was because of the fact his dad was going to take his car. That's the most spoiled kid shit I've ever heard in my entire life. And of course, back to Dr. Doom's character. He, he is not Dr. fucking Doom. That was not Dr. Doom. He was only pissed about two things. Saying, oh, the Earth, the Earth, human, humans had their chance and, you know, you guys, you guys screwed up, so I'm going to destroy the Earth and use this other universe. By the way, they find another fucking universe. That's how they got their powers, if I haven't explained that already. I'm going to make this new universe, the, the new Earth. Yeah, yeah. He looked like a 40-year-old guy who had nothing else better to do. He was way older than the rest of the cast, which comics in the movie and this is nothing it, his origin from his powers is a mixture of science and magic because his mother was a gypsy and his dad was a scientist that was never explained in the movie it was so horrible he was he was pissed about two things how the fact earth was getting destroyed and because he wanted to hit Susan from the back he wanted to do Susan doggy style I'm sorry to do this to you Susan but you you wouldn't give it up to me Ugh. it's just a cry babe it's a 40 year old guy trying to bang a 20 year old and he's pissed off at the world because he can't hit it get the hell out of my damn face with that Dr. Doom shit And for the God's sake, and, and you want, and this is how I could tell, this is how I knew. By the time I finished the movie, it didn't, it didn't take me three seconds to notice it was a piece of shit. There was no goddamn Stan Lee cameo, at least not to my knowledge. I may, I may have to put, you know, I was kind of in and out of the movie because I am keep thinking like, oh, are they done training using their powers? Are they actually going to fight Dr. Doom 75 minutes into the movie? Are they going to fight Dr. Doom yet? Where the hell is Stan Lee? Stan Lee ain't nowhere to be seen, but he's been in all the other movies. He's been in Amazing Spider-Man movies, and those were all right. You know, one better than the first original ones. But there's no Stan Lee cameo at all. I guess Fox couldn't afford it because they put so much money into the crappy character development, and the crappy writing. It, it was it what they it looked they, it was too damn fast paced for the movie. Like Jesus, like and, th and this is why when you s the trailer was better than the damn movie. This movie felt like I was watching a, a hundred minute long trailer for a movie that never happened. The trailer was better than this. Good God, there was zero build up towards the final battle. All they did was bring in Doctor Doom because they found him in, you know, like, oh, after all this time, you, you survived. Yeah, I am I'm alive. Ugh. Oh, well, let's bring him back to Earth. That's a smart idea. He's all green and shit. Let's take him back to Earth and experiment on him and see if he's still alive. He comes back, he's pissed off. Uh, uh, uh. They kill, they kill Johnny, and, spoiler alert, they kill Johnny and, Su and Susie's dad. He goes back in there, he's like, he killed our dad. Let's, ki let's beat his ass. Yeah, fuck everybody else he killed in the movie. They were more focused on their dad dying than the hundreds of other people that Dr. Doom killed before he went back to the alternate universe. It was, it was their dad dying that caused them, you know, so if their dad didn't die, they would be like, oh damn, he killed everybody. Wait for part, oh god, they better not make a part two of this shitty movie. They make a, I will do a rant in front of the movie theater of the premiere of the next, if they make another Fantastic Four movie, I will be out there and rant in front of that damn theater. Watch. Don't make a second Fantastic Four movie. You, 
Fox, you better give them rights right back to Marvel. I'm going to let you know this right now because you're doing a shitty job. That's why when you saw the trailer, they would say from the people that brought you X-Men because they know they they know the other movies they made were pieces of shit. That's why. I'm done, y'all. That's my review for Fantastic Four. Don't go see it. It's the worst movie. I had to stream it. That's how bad the movie is. I don't like streaming movies. I like actually watching them. Now, if they make another movie, no. Leave Fantastic Four alone. You wiped your ass with the comics. And I feel bad that Stan Lee's, Stan Lee's name's in the damn credits. And the only reason why his name is in the credits is because he created them and made the comics. If he didn't do that, his name wouldn't be up there. If I was Stan Lee, I'd be ashamed to even have my name credited on there. But since he created it, his name's got to be up there. Stan Lee, I apologize. I am a huge Marvel fan. Probably one of the biggest Marvel fans ever. I'm through, guys. Don't see that movie. It's the biggest piece of shit movie I've ever seen. And, this, and you're talking to a guy who loves Marvel. I'm done. I'm done.